These problems are about an area of geometry that deals with lines, uh, rays, and line segments. And you kind of need to know what those are, and you need to know how they're uh, represented. So a line, basically, the idea behind a line is that it ex it's straight and it extends forever in those two directions. Nothing ever stops it. It's, it's a concept. It's not like it's a real thing because it has no thickness. It's uh, an infinitely thin line. It just has length, but no width or thickness or anything like that. So that's a line, and when we write uh, a line, we refer to it, we usually put a couple of points on it, maybe A and B. We uh, name the points with letters, and then we say that's line AB, and we put that line symbol on top of it. Now, if you took just from A and went off in this direction, you'd kind of have half the line, and that's what a ray is. So, if this is point A, this is point B, this thing is called a ray. And a ray, we write with the names of the two points, and then just an arrow only pointing in one direction. It's important, though, that um, this letter here, the first letter, is the one that's at the end point of the ray, not the side that stretches on forever. You could have a ray that goes in this direction, A, B, and it's pointing off that way. That would still be ray AB like that because it starts at A and goes off to B. And then the other thing you can have here is a segment, and a segment is just part of a, a line that is cut off. So here's A and B, and it doesn't stretch on forever. That's a segment. And we would write segment AB like this, just a line on top with no arrows. You could also write segment BA. It doesn't really matter what order you put that one in. Anyway, let's look at, at this. Here is a figure. It's got point C, point E, and then an arrow here, so it's stretching off just in that direction. And we're supposed to pick the right symbol um, that goes with this. One of these three is right. Well, you should recognize that this is a ray, because it's that sort of half of the line, only going off in one direction. And when we would write it, we'd start with the end point, C, and then the other point, and then we'd put the arrow pointing in that direction. And that looks like this one. So that's our answer. Let's look at the next one. This one is also a ray, the arrow's over here, though, it's pointing in the other direction. So the point that it starts, the end point here, is Y. So that's what comes first, then the W, and the arrow pointing off like that. And that would be... Oh, well, they did it a little different way there. As long as the Y is there with the, the non-arrow end of it, um, that's right. And the, the W is with the arrow end. So you could also write this ray this way where you start over here and have it go that way. That's just fine. And let's do another one here. This says, what is a description of a segment? And remember, a segment was that chunk of a line that had endpoints and didn't stretch off in all those directions. And they're giving us a couple of um, definitions here. A, an undefined term of geometry. It has no thickness or width, but it extends indefinitely. Well, that's not the right answer. A line segment, just like a line, has no thickness or width, but it doesn't extend indefinitely. Lines do that. So this is actually the definition of a line. Let's look at the next one. An undefined term of geometry. It has no size in any dimension. That sounds pretty weird, but that's what they actually call a point. A point, you know, points to a, a single spot in space, but technically it has no length, no width, no depth. It's just a point. Um, so it's not A, it's not B. Let's look at C here. C says all of the points between two endpoints. And this is actually going to be the correct answer. And if you think about this line segment, it's really, or a line for that matter, it's made up of an infinite number of points all lined up together. So a good definition for a line segment is all of the points that are between two endpoints. Let's just look at D, just because um, we can. It says, it has no thickness or width, and it extends indefinitely in one direction from an endpoint. I hope you would know that that is a ray. So that's not our right answer either there. All right, we're going to try one more here. This one says, list 
all the line segments and all the rays in the figure shown below. So we've got this um, ray, big ray, that starts at letter A and goes out past B and C and keeps going on forever in that direction. And they want us to list the segments and the rays. Well, the segments are going to be any chunk here that, is, that has two endpoints. So there's a segment here from A to B. And we would write that as segment AB, like that, with that line on top. And then there's a segment from B to C. So we would write that one. But there's also a segment from A to C. And we could write that one. And I think that's all that there are. You could say segment CB, but that's the same thing as segment BC. So it's not really a, a different one. Let's look at the rays here. Now the ray, a ray has to start at an endpoint and go through another point and then on out there forever. So we would have ray, well, it could be ray AB because it from, starts at A, goes to B, and then on out there forever. It could be ray BC starting at B and going through C and on off forever. Or you could write this as ray AC. And I think that's all of them. You can't write this as ray C something because there's no other point. You need that second point to define a ray. So that is some work with line segments, lines, and rays.